last morning, or <laughs> that's a lie, last weekend, we just had a bowl torch off. I cow called one time with this little guy right here, guys. Anyway, he fired off and then he chuckled. So we're gonna drop in. See if we can't get this thing finished up. This cat road wraps around down into that. What's gonna be hard is the wind. It's gonna wanna blow down these blows. So we've got two bowls now. One's right on the edge of different private where we can, cannot. The other one's deep into the private. Guys, we're going to be living on our Onyx today and just working this line. And, and I'm going to try to use the calls to get him to come to our side. See if uh, we can put this baby to use. So he's fired up. He is on private. But we have just did a little Onyx line distance it says he's 900 yards from us right now so we can drop down the property line here we'll skirt right off of the private and get as close as we can we've waited till that sun hits that ridge right there so instead of our thermals going down to him it'll start sucking up if we're gonna be living by the wind and if that wind is sucking up then we'll start harping on the calls get within hopefully 300 yards of them it just depends on the boundary down there. And then uh, hopefully he jumps that fence. <laughs> yards vertically or horizontally that way that would mean we could drop quite a bit but what I want to do is let's try to triangulate see how the property line dips down right here mm -hmm. so we're on this main ridge and it dips down right there we can get right there and maybe see if we can call back into them See if he'll come across that. Yeah, let's listen to him for a bit. Yeah. He responds every time. Every time.
left, they got fired up. Kind of came in and then didn't come in. Probably too far from his house. Just reviewed the footage. <laughs> there is no way a bull elk can survive that trauma. <laughs> yes! I think he's like right there. <laughs> he's right there too. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> that is a 
big relief. Yeah. The biggest thing I ever feel <laughs> after I know things went good is relief. <laughs> Fun. Fun relief, yeah. Oh man. Where's my bowl? <laughs> Got him. He stopped exactly where it sounded like. Right at his rub. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that shot any day. <laughs> That's 100, 130 yards. Yeah, I like shooting them right there. <laughs> oh, there's blood everywhere. Oh, my. Oh. Yes! So, Noah and I are going to start breaking down the bull, and then Chase is going to take a trip or two, kind of stage it up to the, the upper end there, and then then we'll regroup from there. <laughs> Steve couldn't make her out today. Um, last week in the season, Steve, no big deal. <laughs> but <laughs> how convenient. <laughs> He'll feel real bad if he has the Rona. <laughs> uh, anyway, love you, Steve. Miss you a lot right now. <laughs> No, Stevie Wonder, why do you have your sunglasses <laughs> up? Oh, look what? at him. It's just like, <laughs> we're inside. That's, a, that's your brother. Uh, I want to there's like there. five lights oh, shining around in my eyes right now. We're inside a barn. Get a hat. They're supposed to, they're supposed to be on. I just got done with work. Oh my lord, so did I. Sorry. And he's still wearing them. Rolling. And he's still wearing them. <laughs> How was uh, your hunt, Chad? Back in the barn. <laughs> this has been a while. But it's been a long time. Yeah. Uncut. <laughs> Uncut. Uncut. Check. Trent, where's your little folder? Your oh, you mean my bowl? My yeah. bowl's right back here, yeah. Trevor. No, not your bowl. Yeah, my bowl's right back here. Yeah, it's back here. It takes up most of the screen. You gotta be careful with it. Okay. Did you have to call it in at least a half mile before you shot it? Um, no. I think so. No, I'm a better hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm a better hunter than that. Oh. No, so uh, we're going to go over Trevor's. <laughs> we are going to do, so maybe you guys have watched, I don't know how many people watch Wedding Crashers or videos like that where the actual cast members go through the video and kind of, I don't know, pick it apart. Wedding the good, crashers? the bad, the ugly. Yeah, well, it's, it's like, the, yeah, it's a director's cut, right? Director's yeah. cut. Yeah. yeah. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. So or, or Hollywood, you know. I mean, yeah. pretty much. Duh, pretty what, what Trent's trying to say is, we're gonna go over my bowl, and none of them were there. <laughs> so you guys could probably just leave. <laughs> yeah, Trevor. And then there's there's that. And then there's that. Actually, Chase, the guy that's filming. I'm pretty, maybe you should be sitting over yeah, here. Yeah, you were there on the job. <laughs> and that's <laughs> actually not wrong. Do you want to change spots, bud? No, I guarantee you, he doesn't want to. So you're doing it. <laughs> Think of the female attention. Wow. Okay. That took a turn. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> oh, these better make it in. These better make it in. Actually, before my hunt happened, before they saw my hunt, what they didn't see was we went out there a couple days prior, or maybe the day before. The day before. With you. Yeah. And we tried to locate and locate. And there's a generator. Hey, I jumped in a bush for this hunt, so. You did? It was you a did. blackberry. Wasn't a blackberry infested place? Always no. So the day before our hunt, actually, we went out and we tried to locate elk all day long and didn't find anything. No. And mid afternoon, we hiked down this road literally 200 yards, this cat road, from our rigs. And bugle, 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 nothing. And I look over at Chase and I'm like, what is going on? He goes, what? We look back. And Steven here is asleep. Taking a nap. <laughs> Taking a nap. In the dirt road, 200 yards back. You know what they call that? The Rona. The Rona. The COVID <laughs> naps. The COVID naps. Because Steven had the HIV. Oh, I, <laughs> yeah. I had the Rona. You didn't even tell us. Why well, didn't know? I'm like, Steve, you, you feeling okay? Yeah, I'm feeling fine. It's called the cold. Uh, <laughs> you, the you Rona's sure? a cold. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. 
So the <laughs> next morning we get up at what, 5 a.m. I, I, don't, I don't miss an elk hunt, but I did. I get a John Deere, was it a text or a phone call? It was a text. It was a, a text that said, yeah. uh, not going to make not it. Not making it. And that doesn't happen but with Steven. Never. I will tell happen. you, I wanted to give him the Rona so bad. <laughs> it was like, that was the top of my... How could you? You were sleeping the cat road. Oh. No, the next morning, I just wanted to just <laughs> be right there, but no. Rona down. Yeah. I was sick. Yeah. So, a little behind the scenes, uh, it was myself, Chase, and Noah. Chase's first ever hunt with us, correct? First day correct. in the woods with us. Move the camera, yes. There you go. <laughs> there you go. You can still talk. So basically I was caller and shooter and Noah was primary and Chase was along to like kind of learn the ropes. Is that fair? Yeah. yeah. Observation 100%. day kind of. I was still working. <laughs> at my actual at your, company. At your other yes. job. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, yeah. Yeah, and, it was. and the place we went in on, we had Two bulls respond right out of the gate, first thing in the morning. And the only problem was, is they were on private, like a long ways on private. And it was kind of like this disheartening, like, okay, well, I don't know if this is gonna work, but this is our only play. And so we dropped in as far as we could, followed Onyx all the way down to where we literally couldn't go another 100 yards because the line was right there. And then just sat up shop basically and just called and called and called and called which i love to do but it was a long time it was you said i remember you telling me it was like remember that time that you and i called that those calves up exactly like we literally sat there just yeah yeah just non-stop calling for like 45 minutes and it was like probably the dumbest thing we could ever do and yeah. all of a sudden it worked and but at the same time it's the only yeah thing. exactly exactly yeah. right and yeah. it was just like that except for it was like three hours of three hours Oh, mm -hmm. Steve would have been zonked, done. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Out. I definitely would have been done. It was morning. just all morning long, just smashing brush and and making a bunch of noise, just trying to make it sound like it was legit. I think that's why this is kind of cool, is because I don't think the people actually got to feel that in the video. No. At least I didn't because I, mean, I wasn't there. Yeah, how do you how do you yeah, show three kind of, hours? But you see what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. You see what I'm saying. I think this that's why these things are really really kind of valuable to people actually at the same time is like you called for three hours from the same spot only a lunatic does that yeah well a lunatic with no other options <laughs> <laughs> a lunatic with a buddy that has rona a new cameraman and has no options <laughs> 100%. that's fair second to last day too <laughs> second to last day second to last day of the season yeah, yeah. and uh, we just yeah we didn't have any other options, so it was one of those things where I know there's two live elk there, and those are the only ones I know about, so why not? You don't not? leave elk to find elk. Yeah. And yeah. they responded every single time. One of them did, the other one... Oh, it kinda, did? One of them did every time, and the other one, it kind of, I knew he was there, but he kind of... How, how long into the calling sequence, because you said this three hour time limit, how long into the calling sequence could you tell that they were getting closer? Oh, like not until... Legit the last 15 minutes. He, really? he like he just ran, ran in. in. Yeah, it was all of a sudden he just made a decision, I think. And then he came like barreling in hundreds of yards in a very short time. Mm. Yeah. Do you think he had cows? Yes, I saw them. So cows bedded and he, they were like content and then he peeled out? He, it was only, I saw a couple of cows, like maybe three. There could or have been they, more. They came with so they, they pushed on, yeah, and I'm like, oh no, and they went past us, but our wind was such that we wanted them to kind of like come over here, get past us, and then the wind was sucking this way, and once they got to that point, then called a few times, and he, it was just enough to where he sucked in, and we got him, so it was pretty awesome. And I remember <laughs> looking at Chase, and I, <laughs> I, I looked at Chase, and I said, you get in that bush and you do not come out. <laughs> I got in the bush. I'm sorry. <laughs> Chase, that was before he knew you. Yeah. Okay. All right. No, I'm sorry, no, Chase. I'm sorry right. about that. Super abrasive. But Terrible. Yeah, he's like, I don't want to see your face again. Yeah. Get in that bush. <laughs> on great leadership. Chase really. pulled out a GoPro. You guys can see the footage. He, he captured uh, Noah and I behind that big old tree. And uh, it turned out awesome. It's cool because I think, I mean, and I think everybody in this group can agree with me. If there's a shot that just needs to like take place and it needs to happen, 
Trevor would be the guy to make that shot. Yeah, mm -hmm. and yeah 100%. He, I've seen him do some stupid Mission Impossible rolling things <laughs> come up on one yeah. knee. I, I, yeah, I don't know how to describe it, but at the same time, it's... Uh, if there is a sliver of chance, Trevor's going to execute 99.9% he, yeah. He's very, very, very good at that, and it, he did that on this hill. Did he again? Yeah, we saw we saw him drop in sight. It was a good feeling, second to last day of season. Especially this and side of the fence line. It always gets a little bit anxiety ridden when you're on those last two days of season. Yeah. You're like, oh my gosh. And we'd been over uh, helping you guys get your elk, Cody mm -hmm. and Steve and everything. Mm -hmm. And I'd been hunting a little bit at the beginning of season. And it was, then it was all of a sudden like, oh, I feel a little bit of pressure. Uh, we got we got a day and a half left, and man, it felt good to hear him coming in. When, once I heard him like in that 200 yard zone, and limbs were popping, and he was ripping, I was like, "Oh, we're actually going to get a chance." It's going to happen. This. It was awesome. And then when I shot him, if he would have went left back down, I was scared to death. He's going to go back down towards private. And it was by the grace of all that was good. When I shot him, he spun and went towards the cows and died. Um, on the opposite of private, and I was just like, oh. So it just made it just so much easier. <laughs> Could have been another nightmare. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Or just, you know, you know, something you had to deal with. Yeah, right? I've never had to deal with that before, but yeah. that definitely could have come into play there, because I mean, we were 70 yards from the line. Yeah. So yeah. it was good. It's pretty awesome to have yeah. that, like, instinct to know. You know, I mean, like, you could have pulled shop and then been like, all right, let's drive a couple out. Let's drive an hour. Let's try something different. You had like that gut instinct, like this is gonna happen, you know, pulling. Yeah, and, and we <clears throat> we were going back and forth between two calls, uh, that two tone, and uh, the other external that we uh, sound bite. Sound bite. Yeah. And it was cool to go back and forth between those two because one bull responded to the one, and the other one liked the other one. That was pretty crazy, crazy to sit up there and. They were that picky. And but we talk about that all the time. You yeah. know, it's like one bull will respond to a chuckle, whereas it won't respond to anything else yeah. other than, you know, it's crazy. Yep. Crazy. It, it was pretty neat how um, to see their... Having those tools. To hear. Yeah. Having all those tools helped. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then the old mouth call was the key to... Stop. Stop them at the very end. But. Always have a read in your mouth if you're a shooter. Always. Mm -hmm. Dude, good times. it was a good hunt. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wish I could have been there. Wish I could have too. Hey, I was in bed. Maybe this year. Rona, Rona. <laughs> no, I hope you guys enjoy these things that were yeah, kind of the unstructured, uncut, whatever you want to call it. Good times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a good Fun time, times. guys. I, I, that hunt was so awesome, and I hope you guys like this. No worries over nickels and dimes or a nine to five grind. I gotta get loose sometimes In trouble